is an eye-opening case out of Fort Collins. CSU vets had to euthanize a dog that contracted, of all things, the plague. Now, the school has now taken steps to notify people who may have been exposed or perhaps pets that may have been exposed. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is in Fort Collins. And Lance, the school says this was a pretty complex case. One that is very atypical. It's one that dog owners are now just learning about. Now, we are told that the symptoms were atypical, and that raises a question about whether that led to a delay in treatment. The dog was diagnosed on Friday and put down the same day after its condition worsened. Oh, it would be devastating. And to know that there was something out there that could possibly have saved him would have been nice. Amanda Payne says she's not too concerned about her 14 week old puppy catching like the plague yeah. because she doesn't exercise him in open space. Dogs, cats, and even humans can be at risk if they catch fleas from infected prairie dogs, mm -hmm. rabbits, squirrels, even mice or voles. Typically, we see our prairie dogs kind of um, go dormant or be less active this time of year because it's typically colder. Health Department spokeswoman Katie O'Donnell says unseasonably mild weather means rodents and fleas are still active and still a danger. This particular dog had pneumonic plague, and that tends to be fairly treatable. Um, but the faster you get diagnosed, um, the less kind of long term treatment you need. After confirming the dog contracted pneumonic plague, CSU immediately notified students, staff and faculty who were potentially exposed to the dog and then notified the owners of 59 animals that shared hospital space. The hospital is providing antibiotics to those clients. I keep him on leash. Dog owners are advised to keep their pets on a leash, especially in areas that may have rodent populations. I might consider getting him an extra month or two of the flea medication just for that purpose, since we do have property and there are prairie dogs on that property. Now, there are three types of plague, pneumonic, bubonic, and septicemic. Septicemic can be highly lethal because that bacteria gets into your bloodstream. There is a local teenager in Fort Collins who died from septicemic plague back in 2015. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.